there are some absolutely bonkers movies on the horizon. Top Gun Maverick is finally getting a post-pandemic release after a bunch of delays, Thor Love and Thunder is right around the corner, and it feels like every week is stuffed to the brim with new movies and TV shows to watch. But let me tell you, there were no movies I wanted to see more than the big screen debut of my favourite animated family from my favourite animated series, Bob's Burgers. It may be a relief to some, but shouldn't come as a surprise that the film is 100% a reflection of the deliriously heightened and perfectly mundane restaurant running Belcher family I know and love so very much. Bob's Burgers may not be the biggest movie in the multiplex, but for a property entering its 13th television season, it's never been better. Bob's Burgers, the movie, is a delicious feel-good time. Mm, that feels nice. I know, I know. Don't rub my sesame seeds off. I won't, don't worry. They're a cute couple. Eh, I give them a year. Bob's Burgers, the movie, follows the basic premise of the series. And, in fact, the film really is just like a bigger, longer, better animated glorified episode of the series. Everything looks better, it sounds better, and will have very little impact on the story of the series moving forwards, which itself is far more of a show you tune into to hang out with your favourite characters than follow their continuity anyway. The stakes might be a bit higher, but certainly nothing we haven't experienced before, and I feel like that captures the spirit of the wonderfully ordinary show perfectly. Your enjoyment of the film is really going to depend on how much of the series you've seen, and how attached you are to these characters. Bob's Burgers follows the titular Bob, a loving husband who runs his burger restaurant with his zany, loud, extremely proud wife Linda, their children, the boy-focused Tina, the middle child Jean, lacking in all social grace, and the aggressively defensive fire starter Louise, help, but mostly avoid helping, rounds out the family along with restaurant regular Teddy, and honestly, it's an absolute joy just spending time with everyone. The plot of the movie follows the opening of a massive sinkhole outside the restaurant moments after Bob is denied a loan extension. This serious circumstance unveils the conspiracy of a dead body of a carnival worker found in the sinkhole, with Bob's landlord, Mr. Fishoda, the prime suspect. It sounds serious and overdramatic, but it really isn't. The plot is all besides the point. You're here for the characters, and like the Simpsons movie before it, it's never looked or sounded better. The film is first and foremost a musical comedy, where none of the characters can really sing overly well, and nobody is trying to be deliberately funny. The songs are catchy and well written, and the humour is derived from the characters' personalities which have had 13 years to develop at this point. Every character is given their bit to do. Bob and Linda are up a creek without a loan extension. Tina wants the dim boy across the road, Jimmy Jr., to be her summer boyfriend. Jean just wants to be the headline band at the Wonder Wharf celebration. And Louise just wants to prove she isn't a baby. Teddy gets in on the fun and proves he's the best friend, crazy uncle everyone needs. While the humour is wonderful, and the film is hitting those pleasantly funny moments from the very first scene, the film really wears its big, heavy heart on its sleeve. Everyone gets their moment to shine, and even though the film doesn't have a strong sense of momentum, it instead gives everyone an emotional beat and journey to close out their stories. For fans of the series, there's a heartwarming scene that focuses on a dangling plot thread the TV show hasn't fully explored, and it was genuinely lovely. If you don't get a little misty-eyed at that point, you're very clearly likely dead inside. I'm not really sure what's left to tell you. The cast is fantastic, as they always have been. The world the Belcher family lives in is perfect world building, full of zany, diverse, wonderful characters who can, and have, supported their own storylines. The mystery at the heart of the film is solid, but nothing that's going to last with you. It feels like a bigger, more fully developed episode of a show that never really lets the fact that it's a cinematic film get away from its character's first formula. This is a fully established world you'll love spending time with. I don't know if it's going to win over any new viewers though. Bob's Burgers isn't a household name the way The Simpsons is, despite being far more consistently funny throughout. This film is probably on the same level as The Simpsons movie, without being quite as revolutionary. Personally, I love Bob's Burgers. I am as biased as a viewer can possibly get without having money involved. 
I hope everyone watches it. If you want to wait for streaming, that's cool. Go watch the TV show. It's excellent. I loved the Bob's Burgers movie. I know that anyone that's a fan of the show will too. Thanks for tuning in to this week's review. Like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll have more content coming soon. Later days.